Hello and welcome to CoinGate. If you're like me and you're closely watching the Bitcoin market after the recent halving event, in this video, I'll show you my thoughts, exactly what I've been thinking and what I think the halving means for us next and what's been happening so far. Before I get into it, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So the halving is a pre-programmed event that happens every 210,000 blocks or approximately every four years. It reduces the block reward that miners receive for validating transactions on the network by 50%. This means the supply of new Bitcoins entering the market is significantly reduced. The fourth Bitcoin halving event happened on Friday the 19th of April at around 8.09 Eastern time. Immediately after the halving, the price of Bitcoin traded flat for a little while, uh, holding steady around $63,000 to $64,000. We saw highs of $67,000 thousand and lows of about fifty-six dollars flash crash. That happened on the 1st of May. We're currently trading around minus 2% on the ROI on the BTC halving. This was a reflection of the entire crypto market at the time, as the total market cap of crypto dropped to 2.09 trillion from a high of 2.4 trillion. The halving event affected not only Bitcoin but also other cryptocurrencies, big cryptocurrencies. Let's take a look at how some of the top cryptocurrencies have performed since the halving. So we have Ethereum which has been currently trading around, trending around the same point. Uh, it's been minus 2% in the red. We have Binance, BNB coin, outperforming everything else in the top five plus positive, which has increased by 7% since the BTC halving. And we have Solana, which has been plus about 5.2%. 25% since the halving. Note that these prices are subject to change and you know, it's gonna be different by the time we watch this video. As if anything in crypto, it goes really fast. So currently, the market is in subdued performance after the halving. Bitcoin is struggling to break out of the 50% Fib level. However, historically, the halving event marked the beginning of a new bull run. We can expect to see the market turn bullish again, and we just don't know when it will be, but it will definitely happen. So this is something that we can just never predict. The current market dynamics are unique in the history of cryptocurrency, promoting a reassessment of the potential impacts of the halving. Every halving is different. Researchers have found that the halving effect has gradually diminished over time, with each leading to decreased growth in rates of Bitcoin value. Obviously, Bitcoin is the highest it's ever been, right? It hit its all-time high a few months ago, but every halving is different and we can't expect the same behavior for every single halving. Additionally, Bitcoin is soaring close to its all-time high, whereas in the past, previous halving, it was trading 40 to 50% below its prior highs. Now, big question, what does this mean? for Bitcoin and Bitcoin ETFs. Okay, so here's a wild card I'm gonna to throw to you. So in the current cycle, there's been the launch of the cryptocurrency exchange traded front products. So some researchers have found that the BTC spot ETFs have demonstrated a staggering trading volume, signaling significant interest from traditional investors. This could change the overall habits of Bitcoin investors with long-term holders becoming increasingly more important and the amount of Bitcoin held on exchanges is currently at a five year low. People just don't trust exchanges anymore. Maybe it's to do with the stuff that happened at FT maybe it's to do with you know every crypto exchange that's ever been compromised I think people are just being wiser to keeping their coins on their personal wallets as they say not your keys not your coins the Bitcoin halving presents both opportunities and challenges as investors it's our job to stay vigilant adjust our strategies and to be prepared for the unknown remember investing in cryptocurrency carries a risk a significant risk at that and it's essential to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor or you know, do your own research and come up with a, some conviction to why you want to get into the market. Now, congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video. If you found this helpful, be sure to please like this video, subscribe to CoinGate, and yeah, be prepared for much more cryptocurrency content just like this.